Monroe College is represented this evening by team captain Donald Robinson, Jamoy Pitter, Kishnan Bennett, and Tejon Hall. While Titchfield High is represented by Alex Anderson, Romaine Smith, Harold White, and Omario Guscott, team captain. Hello and welcome to the deciding match in this quarterfinal series. Monroe College easily won the opening match, but Titchfield leveled the series with a nail-biting victory. So tonight, it's win or go home for either team. I'm Jean-Paul Menu. It all comes down to this. The quarterfinalists have entered the challenge, but do they have the skill, the knowledge, and the temperament to move into the semi-final round? Let's find out. It's time for the opening challenge. In this section, teams will be asked questions alternately and will receive one point for each correct answer. Earlier we had the toss. Monroe College won and decided to go first. So we begin with Monroe College. The section lasts for four minutes. Let's get that time on the clock, please. We have it, Monroe. So we'll begin with your first question, which comes from Spanish. What is the third person preterite tense of the verb tener? Tener, no. Person. Patrick. Tubo. Tubo. That's right, Spanish for Titchfield. What is the first person preterite tense of the verb hacer? Ice. Ice. That's right, international affairs, a visual one for Monroe College. Look at the monitor, identify this country's flag. Armenia. No, Armenia. 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 That's right, international affairs for Titchfield. Look at the monitor, identify which country's flag is displayed. Belarus. 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 Good. Mathematics for Monroe. An item was bought for $180 and sold for $207. What was the percentage profit? Mm -hmm. 27, 180 times 100. So this is 9, so 60. 24%. 15%. 15%. Uh, 15 uh, incorrect. Mathematics, Titchfield. An article was bought for $345 and was sold for $414. What was the percentage profit? Profit percentage. Profit? Mm -hmm. Percentage. 25%. Uh, no, 20%. Theater and cinema, a visual one for Monroe. Look at the monitor. Identify this actor. Ben, ben, ben Kingsley. Kingsley. Oh, no. ben, ben, Kingsley. Kingsley. Ben, ben Kingsley. That's right, oh. Ditchfield. Your theater and cinema question. Look at the monitor. Identify this actor. William Hurt. William, William Hurt. Hurt. No, that's funny man Chevy Chase. History, Monroe, which battle started the Norman conquest of England? The Battle of Hastings, huh? Started it. Mm -hmm. Battle of Hastings. Battle, Battle of Hastings. That's right, History Titchfield. The Battle of Agincourt was won by the English during which war? Hundred Years War. Hundred Years War. That's right. Music and audio one for Monroe. Listen to the following clip and identify the singer. Sing on. No, it's Bonnie Raitt. Music for Titchfield. Listen to the following clip. Give the title of the song. All right, so this is All Too Well. Uh, no, you're on your own, kid. Taylor Swift, French, Monroe. What is the English translation for Demain Matin? Demain Matin. Wait, sleeping bug. Sleeping bug! No, tomorrow morning, French footage field. What is the English translation for le mois dernier? Last month. Last, Last month. month. That's right. Sport a visual for Monroe. Look at the monitor. Identify this former Jamaican football player. Peter. Wait. Wait. Man, we did. Peter Cargill. Peter Cargill. No, that's Ali McNabb. Sport for Titchfield. Look at the monitor. Identify this former Jamaican cricketer. Is it a, is it a Corey Collymore. 
Hmm? Corey Collymore. Corey, Corey Collymore. Collymore. No, Lawrence Rowe. Physics from Monroe. Pushing a car with a stalled engine is a good example of which of Newton's laws of motion? Pushing it. Equal that opposite reaction. First. Equal that opposite. So, yeah, man. No, so Newton's third law first. second. No, Go on. Third. Newton's first law of motion. No, incorrect. Second, physics Titchfield. A rocket engine works on the principles of which of Newton's laws of motion? Equal that opposite. Which one is it? Newton's third law. Newton's third law! That's right, literature. And there's the bell. There's the bell signifying the end of the opening challenge. The scores look to be Monroe College on four points, Titchfield High just ahead on five. When we come back, it'll be time for the speed challenge. Quarterfinal action in school's challenge quiz returns right after these messages.